I am Clarissa, creator of Rock at College, and you're watching Soulful Studies Sunday, where college girls come to redefine college and life success while learning simple and effective study skills. And if you've been wanting to move your college planning away from paper and pen and over to the digital space, you're gonna absolutely freaking love the tool I'm about to share with you today. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it to skyrocket your college productivity. So if you're interested in this tool called Trello, keep watching. This is Trello. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm gonna give you first an overview of how Trello works, and then I'm gonna share with you the four different ways that you can use Trello to keep yourself organized and skyrocket your productivity in college. So what we're looking at here is the Trello dashboard. Now, Trello is based off of boards, and boards are just the name or the hub of the project that you're choosing to work on or create to-do lists for. Now, when you create your Trello board, you can choose to create a board for each and every class. You can choose to create a board for each of your semesters, or you can create a board for different projects, etc. The four boards that I'm gonna be going over today are the College Success Hub, the Paper Writing, Presentation, and Speech Process, a board for research and group projects, and a board for your weekly game plan or your daily plan in college. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the College Success Hub so that I can show you how Trello works. Within the board, you can create lists. To create a list in Trello, you scroll over to where it says add list. Just to show you an example, we'll create a list for books I need to purchase. Once you save it, you've created a list. Within the list, you can create individual tasks, which Trello calls cards. So to create a card, all you have to do is add a card. And you can start typing in here. So we'll say English books and we'll add that. If I wanted to add more detail to this particular card, I can come into the actual card by clicking on it, hitting the edit description, and I can say English books for the spring semester. And save it so I know that this particular English task is relating to English books. I can also create a checklist for the actual books that I'm gonna need. So I can label this title of books and then I can go ahead and create my checklist. So I'm gonna need to kill a mockingbird. I'm gonna need the Odyssey. Once I purchase the book, I can come over here and actually check off that particular book which was purchased and it'll cross it off for me. If I wanted to share this with everyone else in my English class, I can go ahead and add different members to this particular task by going over to the members tab. Anyone that I know that has Trello and is following this college success board will show up in my list here and then I can add them to this particular task. If I wanted to color code because I'm a very visual person, I can add labels. And as you can see here, I have all of the different classes that I'm gonna be taking in college color coded. So I can go ahead and choose a color and I'll choose English for this particular task. If I needed to purchase the books by a particular date, Trello has a due date function, so I can click here, it gives me a calendar, I can select the date that I need to purchase the book by, and if it was time dependent, I can put a time here as well. So once I save it, it'll show the due date up above. Once this due date becomes past due, this will actually turn red. If I wanted to see a picture of what the cover of To Kill a Mockingbird looked like, or what the cover of the Odyssey looked like, so I knew what I was purchasing, I could attach a document. I can either do this by downloading one from my computer, if I have one saved in Google Drive, I can link my Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, 
or if I just have a web link, I can attach the web link here, or I can add the link to the actual websites where I plan to purchase these books from. So that's one of the cool features of Trello. If every semester I was gonna be purchasing the same books, one of the things that I can do is I can actually copy over checklists, I can copy over a card by just coming here, typing in the title of what I'm copying, and then creating that checklist. So the first thing is creating a college success hub. So this is a place where you have all the information that you're gonna need throughout college. So you can keep track of your financial aid and tuition dates in here. You can keep track of your dorm room, apartment necessities. So I've created a checklist for myself of everything I'm gonna need for the room, linen and laundry supplies, office and desk supplies. And again, I can just copy over these checklists so that I can reuse this particular card semester after semester. I've also created a semester brain dump. So anything that I think of throughout the semester that I might wanna do while I'm at college, I can just brain dump it here. This is also a great place to put your class schedule. As you guys can see here, I've laid out the class schedule and I've color coded the different classes and I've also listed out the times that I'm gonna be attending those classes this particular semester. I've also created a place for me to keep track of all of my syllabi for this particular semester for all my classes. Again, all I did was put down the title that it was the English syllabus. I can go even further and add a description and put exactly what semester this is for. This is also a great place to keep track of what your graduation plan is. So you can list out all of the classes that you have to take for your major. And you can even go deeper and more detailed by creating a plan for yourself of when you want to take each of the classes or when you can take each of the classes. So at a glance, you can see what your major progression looks like over the four years of college. This is another place to keep track of clubs, extracurricular activities, internships that you're considering, jobs that you're considering. You can also put down different things that you can do on or around campus or the town that you moved to if you went away to college so you can keep track of all the different things that you want to do here. The second way that you can use Trello is by creating a weekly game plan. So what I've done here is I've listed out exactly when I have my classes, and then I've listed out when I tentatively plan to get things done throughout my day. One of the cool features in Trello is that I can actually come over to the calendar section, which you can activate by going to show menu, power ups, and then just enabling this calendar function here. But if I click on the calendar and I switch over to the week, I can easily see at a glance what my week looks like and I can see all the different tasks that I have to get done this week. And one of the beautiful things about Trello is that these cards or tasks actually move. So if I don't end up reading chapter 25, which you know often happens when we create plans in college, I can just move it over to a different day, no big deal. And what you'll notice is that the actual date will change for me. If I wanted to, I can actually create cards directly from this section here by just clicking on the date, hitting add card, and I can create my cards here. If you just wanna keep track of due dates in Trello, a great way to do this is by using the month feature. And again, same thing, click add card, and I can put biology exam 11 a.m. And that'll show up here so I can plan out everything it is that I need to get done. The third way that you can use Trello is by laying out the process for creating papers, presentations, or speeches. I actually have a particular format that I use when it comes to writing papers, and I have a video on this process for writing a paper over five days. And this layout here in Trello basically walks you through those five days. So if you have a paper presentation or a speech that you have to do in a particular class, and the teacher gives you a general topic, say marketing or something like that, you can come into Trello and start just brainstorming different things that come to you. The great thing is that Trello can be downloaded on your phone, so if you have different topics that come up throughout the day, you can whip out your phone, open up Trello, and you can start brainstorming different things that you wanna talk about during your speech or during your paper and just 
add a different card for each of the subjects. Once you move through the process, you can actually move the different cards to the next step in your paper writing process or your presentation or speech writing process so that you can see exactly where in each project, each paper, each presentation you're at. One of the other cool things that I think that you can use this paper writing part of Trello is by actually creating cards for different quotes. So if you are creating a paper, you can actually create your outline directly on here. So you can, you know, write intro, topic, sentence one, quote to support. And so you can start brainstorming, you can start planning out, you can start really doing the research phases, you can link different research, you can link different quotes, you can put quotes in here, and then you can start moving it around when you get to the actual outline so that you can see the layout of your paper before you actually start writing it. And then again, once you're done with everything, you can move it over to final draft or taking it to the writing center or whatever step you're in during the paper writing process. So the last way that I'm the most excited about for Trello is working in a presentation in a group. The great thing about Trello is that you can collaborate a bunch on Trello because of the fact that you can add members. So what I've done here is I've created a template for a research group project that has been assigned for your professor. What you can do is you can list out the different steps of the project that you're working on and each person can be added to this Trello board and each person can be aware of what their responsibilities are in the group project. You can see exactly what still needs to be done. You can see exactly who's completed what, who still needs to work on certain things. So as you can see here, I have the project overview and this is just basically where you guys can list out exactly what's required of you during the project when it's due. You can actually link an attachment of the rubric or the due date or the details of the project directly in here. So you have it in one place. Um, you can brainstorm different topics in here. And a cool thing about this feature in Trello is that you can actually vote on topics. So if you enable the vote function in Trello, you guys can vote on the different topics. So everybody can be responsible for coming up with the topic idea. And then once that's done, each member of the group can vote on which topic they like best. And then based on the number of votes that each topic gets, which you guys can see here, each one of these has one vote. Whichever one has the most amount of votes will be the topic that you guys choose for the group project. Each person can link their research here so you guys can see where everyone's getting their information from, all the quotes and everything will be right there. And then one of the other things that I thought of is that you can actually add your professor to this. So if you ever have issues where some members of the group aren't really holding up their end of the deal, the professor can see exactly where everyone is in the project and who has been doing what and what's been getting done by who. So that if you ever run into an issue with any of the group members, you guys have proof the professor can see it all. This is just a great way to keep everyone accountable. Another cool feature about using Trello for group projects is that you can actually comment directly towards someone. So if I were to hit the at sign and then type in my name, this will actually alert me not only in Trello, but it will send me a direct message to my email that someone has left a note for me. So if someone in your group hasn't met the deadline or the due date for whatever their portion of the project is, you can come in here and type a comment to that person and it will send it directly to their email so they can come in here and say, oops, almost forgot to do that and do their part. So again, it's just a great way to hold everyone accountable. And Trello is just so beautiful to look at. If you are a visual person, I highly recommend that you start using Trello. One of my best friends is actually using it right now for graduate school and she actually allowed me to show you her Trello board and the way she does it is that she has one board for each term, so this is her spring term, and then she breaks up her list by the different classes that she's taking and the different group projects that she's doing. And then within each of those, she has the different dates, she has it color-coded, Within each of the actual tasks, she has checklists of the different things that need to get done in order for whatever it is that she has to hand in to be completed. And one of the things that I've done for you to make this process easier if you wanna try out Trello is that I actually 
created templates for you guys to use and copy. So if you don't want to start from scratch, you like what I have set up already, and you want to start using it, you can actually copy the Trello boards. And I'm going to give you direct links to each of the Trello boards. And all you have to do to copy it is go to show menu and go to more and then copy board. Once you copy the board, you can title it whatever it is that you want. You can keep all the cards or delete other cards or do whatever it is that you want, but you can actually copy this board so that you're not starting from scratch and you have an actual template that you can follow. So if you want to sign up for Trello, it's free. All you have to do is go to trello.com. And if you want access to the templates that I've created, then you want to go over to bit.ly forward slash Trello for college. I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that Trello helps keep you super organized for college this semester and that your productivity skyrockets. I hope you enjoyed the episode of Soulful Study Sunday you just watched. I have so many more study skills and practical college advice in the Rock at College system, a step-by-step -step blueprint for creating your own study system. Get better grades without the stress, overwhelm, and lack of social life over at rockatcollege.com.